Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Allegations of significant misuse of intelligence surfaced against Germany following revelations of British soldiers aiding Ukrainian forces in deploying long-range storm shadow missiles, as reported by Joe Bars in The Telegraph and Alessandra Scotto di Santillo in The Daily Express. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, in a statement on February 26, declared Germany's decision against sending Taurus missiles, similar to the British-slash-French storm shadow-slash-scalp, to Ukraine. Schultz cited concerns that such action would require ground support by soldiers, potentially entangling Germany in the conflict. His decision stemmed from the involvement of British and French soldiers with their missile systems and its potential ramifications for Germany's role in the conflict. Former chairman of the Commons Defence Committee, Tobias Elwood, criticized Germany's disclosure of UK support in Ukraine as a diversion from its own reluctance to provide long-range missile assistance. Elwood warned that Germany's actions could be exploited by Russia to escalate the conflict. In response, the British government confirmed on February 27 the presence of a small number of British soldiers in Ukraine, primarily engaged in medical training. The British Ministry of Defense referred inquiries about the Storm Shadow missiles to Kyiv, stressing that the operation and targeting of these missiles are within the Ukrainian Armed Forces jurisdiction. The controversy also drew criticism from German opposition figures, with Norbert Rutkin of Angela Merkel's former ruling party, the CDU, labeling Schultz's remarks about British and French involvement in missile operations as completely irresponsible. The extent of Britain's intelligence support for Russian targets and its ground support for Ukrainian troops using British-supplied missiles remains unclear. The disclosure of British military involvement prompted additional scrutiny of UK Special Forces activities in Ukraine, including training Ukrainian troops in Kyiv and the presence of British elite forces. Reports also mentioned NATO soldiers, including British forces, involved in various capacities since the conflict's onset. These disclosures underscore the delicate balance between aiding Ukraine and avoiding further entanglement in the conflict. The role of UK Special Forces, the lack of parliamentary oversight, and the strategic implications of such support remain subjects of significant discussion and concern. That's all for now. See you later.